Well, hey guys, it's Jessica. You may be asking, Jess, why are you wearing these already? Because we're about to get ready together. I have a handful of products that are new at the drugstore. I'm excited to try. I've kind of seen these around here and there over the past few months, but I finally got my hands on them. I was at the store, really, I, I bought these a few weeks ago but I've been waiting to do a video on them because I wanted to try them on camera because some of them, the claims are very interesting. Well, especially this first one mostly. So let's dive right in. The first product we're gonna try actually used to look different. Um, it is the All May Smart Shade Anti-Aging Skin Tone Matching Makeup. Now, I remember seeing this, but it had old packaging. So I'll put a picture on the screen right now of what it used to look like and what it looks like now. I recognized that packaging when I saw this picture on All May's website. I'm like, oh yeah. I remember hearing about this like custom thing that you like rub into your skin and it's supposed to go on white but turn into the perfect skin color. I'm like, huh, hmm, how does that work? And if that's true, why is it that it has to have like a shade range? Why couldn't there just be one? And if it's truly custom, it would just blend into any skin tone. But of course, that's not exactly how it works. So the idea of this is that it does go on white, like a white moisturizer, but as you're applying pressure and applying this uh, to your face, it actually is bursting these little micro little beads of pigment. Um, that's what I've heard. I haven't tried this yet. We're gonna see. Hold on, thirsty. Now this retails for $13.99 and they have six shades. They used to have, I wanna say two or three shades. Um, and when they repackaged it, they launched six shades total. So I'm assuming three-ish new shades. Now, at first I was like, oh, but I'm like, okay, it's a step in the right direction. That's good. They're hearing people complain about their shade range. That's why it's not really talked about widely on YouTube. So I have the lightest of the six shades. Uh, we're gonna see that each one, I, I thought this was originally called, like the actual foundation was called My Best Light because it says it's so big there, but I learned that that's actually the shade name, not um, the name of the product. So each shade kind of has a cutesy name. So we're gonna try this. I didn't put a primer on. I kind of just wanted to see what does this do on the actual skin, just as it is. I'm gonna shake this up a bit. Um, but I, of course, moisturize my skin like I normally do. So I just wanna try a little bit. It's in a squeezy tube. You can kind of see the little beads on there. So I will say this. It's definitely showing a little bit of color there. So you can see on the edge of my hand kind of where that color ends, where I rubbed it. So there's definitely some pigment there. Kind of looks like it might be slightly orange for me. We're gonna see, because to be honest, skeptical Jesse is like, I don't think it's actually custom matching. I think it is just a color that shows up once you blend it in. You know what I mean? I don't know, does anyone understand the science behind this? So they said to apply it with your hands, I'm assuming for obvious reasons. I probably shouldn't have done the whole face. Oh, so we'll just keep blending it. It didn't really say like, as I was looking on All May's website, it didn't really say like only do one area at a time or you know what I mean? There was no advice given in that way. So I don't think it really matters. But the real question will be not only, okay, so it turns from white to somewhat of a color, but does it actually serve a purpose in that? Like, is it actually covering imperfections? Cause otherwise I'm just putting on this weird consistency sort of tinted thing. Okay, so it definitely has that color. You can see around my nose where it's just catching. You know what I mean? So you really have to blend it in. This is like no joke. So I feel like it, kind of covered. Let me just say this. That was not pleasant to apply. It does have that gritty feeling because of those little beads of pigment. Pigment. But not only that, but it really didn't cover much. So for me, I don't mind if a product doesn't cover a lot. Like if I'm in that kind of mindset for the day where I just want a tinted moisturizer, just something light, I want it at least to be kind of moisturizing my skin and doing something. So not only is it helping, you know, make my skin tone look more even, but it is also, you know, feels good on the skin. Maybe it's moisturizing, maybe it's got good skincare in it. This just felt like gritty and it didn't feel moisturizing at all. In fact, I feel like it's kind of catching on like, not necessarily catching on dry areas. It's just like, I can't make it look even on my nose. Like there's still that little bits of like white everywhere. And it's, I don't know. I will do a wear test today and check in um, and let you guys see like how it's looking by the end of the day because I'm very curious. Uh, how it's gonna look. I'm actually going shopping at Target, I think, today 
And so we'll see just as I'm out and about in the elements and things like that, if it stays. But again, I don't feel like it's really made a huge difference. I don't know y'all. That might not have been worth the $13.99. I'm a little disappointed in myself. The next product I wanna try is an eye product. So let me finish a little bit more of my face and I will be right back to try the eye product. All right, so face is done. I will list anything I'm wearing down below, like my brow product, concealer, etc. So the next product we're gonna try from Almay is their Velvet Foil Cream Shadows. They have, I think, six different shades of this. I have the shade number 20 Cupid Glaze. It says it's hypoallergenic ophthalmologist tested, suitable for sensitive eyes and contact lens wearers. I know this retails for $7.99, which I think is pretty reasonable for a cream shadow. If you're gonna be using it a lot, like if you find a shade you absolutely adore, um, $7.99 is not insane. I feel like there are cream shadows, assuming this is good, there are cream shadows like the Milk Makeup Eye Pigment. I love that, it's like a liquid cream just like this. And that one's, you know, more than double the price. So if you can get the same quality, for $7.99, I think that's awesome. I'll be the judge of that. So they say to squeeze a small amount of shadow, apply it to your lids, apply with fingertips or an eyeshadow brush. Um, you can build the intensity by layering it, like letting it dry and then putting more on top. I haven't even swatched this, so let us see. So it's not the same consistency as the Milk Makeup Eye Pigments, but it's not bad. This is just a little bit I don't want to say patchy, but it is a little bit patchier than that. Let me just show you the Milk Makeup Eye Pigment so, you, so I can show you what I mean. So I think these retail for around 20 bucks, maybe even more. Um, and this comes with 0.34 fluid ounces. The Alme comes with 0.36 fluid ounces. So uh, a little bit more product in the Alme, and of course it's way cheaper. So this Milk one, I have the shade After Party. It's my favorite. It's actually a similar shade, but this is one that like, it is truly high impact color. Like it just, it never really shears out, if that makes sense, whereas I feel like I can still see my skin a little bit through the All May one. So I'm very curious, again, if the All May one is buildable, it just might take a little bit more work than the Milk one, but you could still achieve a really pretty look. So let me throw on an eye primer. I grabbed this new one I've been trying from Catrice. It's their eye foundation. Well, I've been using it a few weeks now. I like it. Um, it's waterproof eye primer. It says it dries matte. I don't think it really hides like a ton of veining or anything from, you know, like if you need to cover a bunch on your lid, like veining and stuff. I don't think it does a great job at that, but I think it's a nice eye primer. Let's just, I'm gonna apply it the way I normally apply eye, like creams like this, and I just apply a bunch to the lid. It's definitely oranger than I kind of anticipated. I think it's actually pretty. I feel like this is a cross. Like once you kind of blend it out, you can really get it to be washed out a bit if you like that look, which I actually really do. It just kind of looks glossy with like a, a subtle bit of color, but I'm gonna let that side dry. I'm gonna do the other side and then we'll see if we can build it up a little bit just to see what it looks like. I just tried to like scrub these off of my hand and neither one of them budged, so that's exciting. I was just using like a dry washcloth, um, but that's exciting because that means it's, it, you know, they're not really going anywhere. So this one definitely has some sparkle to it, you can see. And I think that's really, really pretty. So let's see if this will build up on the other side. So just kind of lightly tapping it on. It built up a little bit. I like this. Like I could see myself using this a lot because I like the color. It's a simple look. You could probably tap it on top of other shadow if you just wanted like a little bit of a kind of glittery look, but I like when there's glitter in products like this because I feel like it doesn't get the glitter all over my face. Like I feel like it kind of holds the glitter within that product. Let me finish the, my face and then I've got a lip product to try. Alrighty, so the rest of my face is done. Um, the lip product we're gonna try is from Alme, obviously, and <laughs> um, it's their Lip Vibes lipstick line. They, I literally assumed they only had a handful of shades. I just looked it up online and they're like a lot. I'll put a picture on the screen of the shades. They have a lot. So they have a handful of them that are matte. They have some that are cream. This one I have as a cream. And then they have like two that are like lip toppers. So I think they're like slightly sparkly maybe. One was bluish, one was yellow, but they don't go on blue. They're supposed to go on top of stuff. So um, the shade that I picked is Skip the Gym. And it's interesting because the claims for this are that it's like, one swipe color, like, oh, one swipe and it's there. But this one is a very, this particular shade I just happened to pick out. 
I don't think necessarily fits that mold because it's more of like a more of like a glimmery kind of a lipstick. You see what I mean? So I actually have lip balm on because my lips are so chapped. I went out running the other day and I remembered my sunscreen, but I forgot lip balm. And so my lips are just wind burned. Isn't that the worst feeling in the world? So working on that now. So I'm going to still leave the lip balm on and kind of put it on top. Uh, and I feel like this is one of those shades that's kind of conducive to going on top of a balm because it is kind of more glimmery and I feel like this is the type of a shade that's almost metallic that it would kind of accentuate dry patches I had anyway. Yeah, so it's definitely, even with that lip balm, this shade is definitely accentuating those dry patches. Now, if your lips are perfectly healthy, I actually think this shade is very nice. Like it's just kind of an everyday, kind of glowy, like almost like you have gloss on, but you don't. And the formula itself is very, very soft. Like it's a very comfortable, like that was comfortable to apply. It feels very balmy, but still with some good color. Now let's talk about the packaging here. It is um, really cute. At first I thought that this was like outer packaging and the lipstick was inside, like the whole bullet and everything was inside this, but it is actually the lipstick packaging. So um, this part's like plastic, but it really is like a thick cardboard, but it's so cute. And it's just something different that I'm like, I don't really mind. I do predict that if you leave this in your purse, like this is totally a shade I would leave in my purse. I am sure that this actual packaging is gonna get really dirty and grimy over time. It is what it is, but I really like the actual formula in this shade. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed with the lip product and the eye product. It's just this face product. I think if I were to rank these in order of like what I'm excited to use more, I think the eye product is my number one. I'm really excited to use this more because I, I like it. And so far it's staying on. We'll see in the wear test how it continues to stay on. Second would be the lip product. I would even, I could see myself buying another shade, like one of the actual like colors that's bold. To be honest, when I bought this, since it was labeled a cream, I thought it would be, I didn't know it would be this metallic shade, but I do like it, but it's not typically my steez. And then last place would be this shade matching foundation where the blush is meeting like my natural like freckles and redness. I feel like it just makes it look muddy. Whereas like my Misha BB cream that I love has more coverage and oh my gosh, my skin loves it. My skin looks dewy and luminous. <sighs> I'll link that below. I freaking love that. I just don't, I don't see myself reaching for this. I'll say that now. I'll try it a couple more times just so I can update you guys in a future like review roundup kind of an update video. But otherwise I, I wouldn't run out and get it. I can't put my stamp of approval, but I will check in at the end of the day so we can see how this is looking. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to Target and shop. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm gonna film another video first. I know, I know. I'm such a good girl. Okay, so it's been on about 30 minutes and Tyler was just telling me, he said, uh, you have like orange on your chin. I am really not enjoying it right now. I'm going to Target, so I'm gonna try to like blend it in um, so I don't look like a complete buffoon, but we'll see. Ugh. Okay. It's about 10 o'clock and Gigi's asleep. I'm about to wash my face and I'm a little let down by a lot of the products. I mean, it was only three, but the face product, no. It's literally just sitting atop my skin and it's just gone in my T-zone. But it just, it, oh, it made, like I'd rather just not be wearing anything on my face at all. It just made it look worse and it didn't really cover. So for me, that is a big no. The lipstick was fine, it was just kind of drying, but again, I'm because my lips are dry and because that's a metallic-ish formula, it's a little bit tricky. I, like I mentioned earlier, I would still be willing to buy one more shade like of a, the, a different cream, like one of the bolder colors or maybe one of the mattes. I don't really like matte lipsticks, but um, because I did, I do think it glided on nicely, but I don't know that I recommend the shade that I was wearing. And then the eye product is pretty, but you have to be careful. Like I feel like I got too much there and because I didn't blend it super well, because I'm not a makeup artist, I'm a normal person. Not that makeup artists aren't normal people. <laughs> Calm down you guys, you know what I mean, goodness me. I can already hear the three judgery dudes out there like, are you saying makeup artists aren't normal? Of course they're normal people. Um, anyway, it just kind of got weird. So you've gotta be really careful with like blending it. And of course, remember I piled on two layers. So that could be another part of it. Um, I think when I wear that again, cause I will definitely wear it again. I liked just one layer, kind of that wash of color with a little bit of the glitter. I think that was prettier. I think layering it on, you're kind of 
lending the product to kind of doing that. So those are my thoughts on these three products. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I love doing videos like this, just testing a couple of products at a time so I can really focus in on what the product claims are, what they're all about, you know, be able to put in the research time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up if you would, and I hope you'll come say hi to me on social media. It is Jam Beauty 89 everywhere, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.